Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In view of the prevalent COVID conditions, you are requested to adhere to the COVID appropriate behaviors like wearing masks properly, washing hands frequently, maintaining social distancing and avoiding crowded places. In the headlines today, new facilities help improve performance of coke drying cooling plant of Cocovan Department of Sale RSP. Srujani program organized at Plate Mill Department. And in our Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav series, today's personality is Sri Upendra Maharathi. And now the news in detail. The coke drying cooling plant, an integral part of battery 6 of the coke oven department of sale, Raukila steel plant, was equipped with new facilities to improve its production, performance, safety and housekeeping. In the calendar year 2021, an additional makeup water line to the cooling tower tank was done to compensate for the loss of cooling water from the system. An emergency spot quenching system was erected adjacent to mechanical repair shed to be used under contingent situations. Besides, a ferrous scrap disposal yard was built for necessary segregation of scraps generated from maintenance associated activities and their timely disposal to MRD. In addition to this, emergency power supply to CDCP lifter panel was commissioned and emergency exit door and ladder in CDCP lifter motor room were fabricated. Also the export grade coke M53X, M59X plow beds were modified from idler type to fixed plate type. All these steps helped in enhanced equipment availability and to cope with the increasing production trend of the plant. A Srujani program was organized at Plate Mill Department of Raukila Steel Plant on 4th February 2022. Mr. Etwa Orao, CGM Plate Mill, handed over the awards to the winners of Srujani Award Scheme. Present on the occasion were Mr. B.K. Behera, AGM IED, sectional heads, other senior officers and employees of the department in strict adherence to the COVID protocols. In all, 127 suggestions were awarded, of which 115 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs 26,500 was dispersed to the recipient's bank account online. Overall benefit accrued from the implemented suggestion, including the recurring benefit, was Rs 1.54 crores. Mr. B.K. Behera, AGM IED, gave a brief about the status of Srujani Creativity Scheme in the department. Around 100 suggestions were generated at the Mela. Mr. Avinash Patnaik, Senior Manager Plate Mill, coordinated the program, while Mr. Ishwar Raj, MTT, proposed a formal vote of thanks. As a part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations, Sale Raukila Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on the eminent personalities of Odisha, and today's personality is Sri Upendra Maharathi. Born in village Narendrapur of Puri district in May 1908, Sri Maharathi was an artist of pan-Indian reputation. His art assimilates the culture and spiritual freedom expressed in the poem Gita Govindam, Odissi dance or Chau dance. Since his childhood, he was deeply influenced by contemporary folk art and culture. His artistic creations are like mellifluous melodies of spirituality. In 1932, Sri Maharathi joined the famous publishing house Pustak Bhandar and school books published by Pustak Bhandar contain the sketches and ornamental designs by him. He also contributed significantly to the robust growth of art and craft industries in Bihar. He was the man behind the magnificent design 
of Dhauli Peace Pagoda in Bhubaneswar. He passed away in February 1981. And that's all for now. Namaskar.